<laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Alright, so I got those couple trout, butterfly, two beautiful little trout. Oh man, did they ever red, eh? Now we're gonna uh, lightly salt these and I'm gonna pickle them and just a light salt. Salt those two things. Helps cure the meat and it also helps keep the flies off them. Okay, so I got some light table salt here. We're gonna lightly salt both sides. Uh, much doesn't take a whole lot. Just keep in mind whatever you do put them on they will stick fast to it. Jeez slimy. Alright so That's it, done deal. The fish are almost dry and I'll gather up some blackberry bush. I think the right name for it is crowberry here in Labrador. This, that's usually what we use to smoke fish. We usually like to take the sod and all, not just the bush, but the actual root and everything. I'm just gonna pull some of this off the rock actually see yeah let's say uh, it's wood but and not chips like you usually use anyway you can see some berries just starting to form on it there now the little black berries and they're really really tasty you see the Labrador tea is in full bloom it's nice all right so I got a bunch of blackberry bush tore up you can see is a big long bush eh? And you probably make a string into that it's almost like vine yeah see it grows really long it's low to the ground but long anyway just what I get for the smoker there that's my old or an old man's old galvanized camp stove for the canvas camp the elbow up into the smoker inside the smoker here uh, very important take a piece of wire fly screen put her in the chimney eliminates the ash yeah see there that'll catch all the ash and then stop going up on your fish I get a couple little fillets in there I have a little sample at once you now a fair bit of heat does go up there. So it's not really a cold smoke. Yeah. Uh, like I said earlier, I've been using this smoker a long, long time, man. At least 16 years. Yeah. Steel smokers. One thing to keep in mind about steel smokers, or iron smokers, I should say, is uh, they sweat, eh? I don't know why the moisture out of the wood, I guess. But, uh, yeah, they sweat. But they are a lot safer than wooden smokers. I've seen a lot of wooden smokers burn over the years. They're pretty dangerous. They like said this is safe. It's hot and dry here in the summertime, so there's no worries. So I get this lit now and uh, run up and get some fish and put in it, I guess, and let her smoke all day. Alright, so there we are, got all the fish in the smoker. Wait, see? Oh, yeah, awesome looking stuff, man. Oh, the smell is driving me nuts. Ah. Alright, so we're gonna take those. We're gonna leave them there now and that smoke for 10 12 hours. That should be awesome. <laughs> okay, so they've been in there now about five six hours the ones on the bottom here are probably cooked the upper ones are not yet and 
trouble is the smell got me drove crazy and I can't wait any longer. I'm gonna have to sample it. Take a little piece. Oh yeah, it's cooked. Cooked good. Awesome. Try a little fillet, eh? Oh yeah, see that's the grease coming in the fish, eh? Nice, cook real good. Check it out. It's awesome. Let's try this out now. Mmm. Man, I forgot how good that was. That's absolutely delicious. I wish you could smell it and taste it. It's awesome. Mm. So, now, it might even taste any better because it's the first bite I eat today. It's Six o'clock in the evening now. Mmm, man, that's good. Oh, I love to be down here all the time. Well, top on the priority list, I guess. I get back to Corner Brew. Just to uh, <laughs> build a smoker. <laughs> Stay tuned for it, everyone. Take care. This is real reality TV. And take it easy.